Hello and welcome to IUPAC nomenclature of cyclic carboxylic acids. So in this particular video we are going to look at various types of uh, cyclic carboxylic acids and <coughs> we have already seen what carboxylic acid groups are. They are the groups which have this functional group COOH. So now we are going to talk about a situation, various situations in fact that have the COOH group attached directly to the ring, attached indirectly to a ring, having two rings attached to each other with this particular group. So we are going to see all permutations and combinations in this. Now let's uh, start with the simplest. The simplest uh, carboxylic acid which is in a cyclic system is something which is a ring having a COH directly attached. Remember the COH can never form part of the ring. It has to be outside the ring. And outside the ring it can be directly attached or it can be attached via some carbon atoms. Now if it is directly attached to the ring, then we are going to name this as the parent and this would be the suffix and the suffix would be carboxylic acid. So this is going to look like cyclo alkane and carboxylic acid and there is no space here cycloalkane carboxylic acid so when a carboxyl group is added to a ring the suffix carboxylic acid is added to the name of the cyclic compound the ring carbon attached to the carboxyl group is given the location number one. So how would you name this one? I would advise you to pause the video and write the name and then play it back. Every time I give you a structure, play it back and check the name. Now this is six membered ring. That would be cyclohexane and then carboxylic acid. No need to number because this is automatically carbon number 1. So this is cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Alright, try naming this one. How would you name this one? Now, obviously this is carbon number 1 and this is going to be carbon number 2. So the numbering will be done like this. So it is 2,4-dimethyl cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Again, no need to mention the number at which carboxylic acid group occurs because it is automatically taken as 1. Try this one. Pause, write the name, play it back. And here you will notice there are two COH groups. One here and one here. So it is a dicarboxylic acid and you have to number it. How do you number it? You got to number it such that both the COH group gets the lowest possible numbers. And along with that the substituent also should get the lowest number as possible. So either I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Both my COH groups are at 1 and 3. And the substituent is at 6. And if I change the numbering and I keep this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, my carboxylic acid groups are still at 1 and 3, but the substituent is at 4. So it is this numbering which should be done. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And remember this 1 belongs to this carbon, not the carboxyl carbon. It is the carbon of the ring. So how do you name this? Well, it's 4-methyl cyclohexane 1,3-dicarboxylic acid. 
okay now let us look at a situation where the cooh group is attached to an acyclic part which is attached to the ring so what happens when you have a ring having cooh attached oh, oh not this one a ring which is attached to an acyclic part having a cooh there is no cooh in the ring first now in this event this is taken as the parent the acyclic part and this forms a substituent <clears throat> if a cooh group is attached to an acyclic part which is attached to a ring then the acyclic part is the parent and the ring is a substituent so let's try this one pause name it and check the name now the acyclic part is this so this should be taken as a parent so if this is parent this is one automatically this is two this is three and this is a substituent so it is 3 cyclohexyl propanoic acid three cyclohexyl propanoic acid then comes the situation where both the ring and the acyclic part have a cooh in that event the ring part is taken as the parent and the acyclic part is taken as a substituent if a cooh group is attached to a ring and an acyclic part that is attached to the ring then the parent is the ring and the acyclic part is the substituent irrespective of the number of carbons in the ring and the acyclic part that means if you take this example then in this case the cyclic part becomes the parent and the acyclic part becomes the substituent so pause the video name this and try and check the answer now in the parent you will notice there will be number 1 and 2 so the substituent is a 2 and the substituent's numbering starts from this carbon this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 and i'm stopping at 7 because remember we are going to treat this entire thing as a substituent and if you remember from the previous videos of carboxylic acids we always treat this as a carboxy alkyl the alkyl part only involves the carbon atoms not including the cooh so this is 7 carboxy heptyl and this is present at location number 2 so this should be 2 and within brackets you will have 7 carboxy heptyl cyclohexane carboxylic acid and lastly we look at a situation where there are two rings attached to each other two rings attached to each other let's say one is 5 and one is 6 and both have cooh then in this case the smaller ring is taken as a substituent and the larger ring as the parent so if two rings are attached to each other and both carry a cooh group then the smaller ring is the substituent and the larger ring is the parent for example if i have something like this so the larger ring is the parent so it is 1 2 the smaller one is the substituent 1 2 So, what do you think would the would be the name of this one? Pause. Uh, write the name and uh, play it back. Now, this is going to be two carboxy cyclopentyl, and this comes within brackets. And there is another two outside, so it is two two carboxy cyclopentyl cyclohexane carboxylic acid. it's two two carbox uh, two carboxy cyclopentyl cyclohexane carboxylic acid so this is how you name cyclic 
carboxylic acids but i hope this video helps you in understanding this part any queries comments anything that you have that you wish to say please drop in at the comment section below i hope you understood the video it helped you thanks for watching